Hello, my name is Dmitry, and today we will find out what is the best React framework in 2023. Currently I'm working on e-commerce website for a fashion brand, and my ultimate goal is perfect score of 100 in Lighthouse, which represents performance. In order to achieve that, I decided to start some investigation, and I'll recreate shop page of our website in every modern JavaScript framework. If you like idea, hit like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Picking web framework in 2023 is not an easy task. And let's get into Astro blog and check out their results. Let's stop on core web vitals. That's a essential metric for a website. And right away, I'm not really happy with the results because basically they're comparing WordPress with the Astro. And Astro is a new thing that few years around and possibly deployed into a versatile edge. On the other hand, WordPress, it could be a website that was developed 20 years ago and deployed into a Celeron powered PC or something like that. Not really fair, isn't it? And yeah, on the bottom of a page, after all metrics, we got some insight that older frameworks have a long tail of legacy and that's exactly an issue. So let's pick modern tools, create modern website and deploy it into a modern environment. Basically that are options we got at the moment in terms of frameworks. We got Astro, Remix, old way of doing Next.js and new way of doing Next.js with up routing. That is the website we will be working on. And it's in a mobile view because we're working on mobile first, but we also got it responsive. Let's make it mobile back. We got here menu, which requires some JavaScript. We got some images there that lazy loaded. We got some client side validation which requires some JavaScript and nice to have sub routing. That uh, new feature for Next.js and Astro and Remix have it. And some static content. We will measure performance using page speed insights, but we will focus only on speed index because largest contentful paint highly affected by your images. And Remix, for example, not really provides something to help you with your images, which is a really bad thing. And after deploying and measuring our website, that what we will get as a result. As you see, speed index, pretty much the same for every framework and Remix slightly behind, but it's still pretty awesome speed index for a web application. So we're good here. HTML, I would say it's exactly the same, pretty much the same, like two kilobytes, bigger, smaller, whatever, not a big deal. But in terms of JavaScript, as you can see, Astro provides like almost three times smaller bundle size than Next.js. But is it actually a problem? Not really, as you can see, speed index fine. We're good. Later on, when our website will get way bigger, bundle size can be way bigger. And that will be a problem. There are some techniques to make it smaller, but why should you have a hard time figuring out how to split chunk your application to serve it better way if you can use just Astro? Because the performance metric, it's not really only serving as less JavaScript as you can. It's more about your user experience. And here we can actually have some bad user experience because Astro is multi-page application. It's a framework that builds multi-page application. And what they say, client-side routing is currently the only way to achieve UI persistence across navigation. And that's not only the problem, that not really solved in Astro. And it also not solved in Remix at all. They don't provide any 
image components. And uh, that's a big deal actually. That's highly affect your page performance. Astro actually have some kind of image component, but you can't really integrate it with React. Yeah, there is a way to pass it into a React component as a slot, but it's not working if you would like to have dynamic number of components passed in your React component. It's basically not possible at the moment. And that could be a big issue for a website like mine. So I'm not actually consider those two at all anymore. Yes, I still think Astra could be a good fit for a project where you have to use multiple framework on the same page at the same time and you would like to make it uh, using micro frontends and some complex stuff like that. But for me, as a conclusion, the best thing that I can do is using Next.js app routing with React. Remix actually reminds me the old way of doing Next.js. There V2 upgrade uh, for me with a route convention looks like downgrade, but that's actually a personal thing. I'm not counting it at all. Let's get back into results. And yeah, as you can see, the actual performance benchmarking is pretty complicated stuff. Like back then we measured TTI, the time to interactive, and it's not anymore in page speed. As you can see, that's not a metric anymore. It's uh, got way complex. The, now they have speed index, blocking time and first contentful pain, a multi layout shift, largest content of pain, and that should be your main focus. Personally, for me, as a final conclusion, I would use Next.js app directory, and I may use Astro for some stuff where I have to mix multiple technologies. So that was it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.